Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name's Amanda. I have a 15 month old little boy named Chase and I'm currently pregnant with baby number two. We're having a girl, we just found out the gender. I will link the video. I was so excited and shocked to find out that we were having a girl. Everybody that I know, aside from my husband and my grandma, thought that we were gonna have another boy. My husband comes from a family of three boys. Uh, his brother had a little boy, we have a boy. There's just so many boys in our family that when we found out that I was having a girl, I was so just over the moon. I'm so happy that we've got one of each and I have such a good relationship and close relationship with my mom. So I'm really excited to have a daughter and to be able to experience that as a mom. So crazy. So anyway, let's jump right in. Um, I'm gonna share with you my 12 and 13 week pregnancy update. And I'm so excited because this is finally the end of the first trimester. So at 12 weeks, the baby is the size of a plum and just finally about to reach the end of that first trimester. And I feel like my hormones were just finally evening out, symptoms were toning down a lot. I didn't feel sick and tired as I did in those weeks leading up to this um, 12th week. So I have to say that my body definitely feels a lot different than it did with my first pregnancy. I feel like I'm putting on more weight than I did. I am just showing maybe like in terms of weeks, like five weeks ahead of, it looks like I'm five weeks ahead of where I was in my first pregnancy. So I've got a little bump, it's nothing crazy, but I can't fit into any of my pants anymore. And I'm kind of in that in-between phase where I'm still too small for maternity clothes. So I'm kind of just like, wearing yoga pants that are comfortable and you know that are seamless and there aren't any of those like elastics at the top that are digging in wearing a lot of dresses just loose sweatpants loose t-shirts that kind of a thing um but i think that my weight is also like it's weirdly distributing on my body i feel like my hips are getting huge my butt is getting huge i'm gaining weight like in my arms and my shoulders and I don't know, it's just a very different experience than with a boy. So I'm trying to embrace it completely. I'm so happy. I am actually really enjoying this pregnancy a lot more than my first, just because I feel like I have less symptoms, which is kind of weird because I thought with a girl, you're supposed to be more hormonal, feel more nauseous, less energy, that kind of a thing. But it's kind of been the opposite for me. So that's, it's a good thing. Uh, what else is there? Still breaking out. I have been mentioning this in my last few videos. The breakouts have been on another level with this little girl. And I'm just at this point used to it. It's like, you know, my skin isn't clear. It doesn't feel like it used to. It's not glowing. I feel like it's dull. It's dry. Same with my hair. I think I mentioned that before. My hair just, I don't know. It feels different. It's not as thick and it doesn't hold the curl the way that it used to when I wasn't pregnant. So that's basically it for skin and nails. Um, I also have like some TMI stuff. So I have seen like an increase in discharge. I'm sorry, um, people just like, you know, earmuffs if you don't wanna hear this, but I just wanna let you know, everybody out there being real, like I've had increased discharge, which is kind of gross, but I think it's totally normal. Um, it's protecting the baby in there from any infections and stuff like that. So just dealing with it. <laughs> uh, my boobs are definitely getting bigger. Um, I don't have any soreness or anything like that, but my bras are not fitting as well and they're a little bit tighter than they normally are. So I think I'm gonna have to order some new bras, especially sports bras. For my first pregnancy, I have some larger bras, uh, just like regular ones you wear with clothes, but I don't wear a lot of those because we're kind of sitting in the house most days. And um, so I think I need to order some just larger sports bras because my other ones are just like not fitting right and they're really uncomfortable. 
So that's really it for week 12. Not a huge amount had really happened, to be honest. Week 13, um, was a little bit different. So the baby is now the size of a lemon and I am one third the way through my pregnancy, which is so crazy. I feel like the first trimester just flew by, honestly. I don't know where, I don't know where the time went. It's, it's insane. Um, but like, I feel like that's a pretty big milestone. So, and I also like, I was just reading on my app that the baby has like vocal cords and teeth and fingerprints and it's just so cool. I, I am amazed every time I think about the fact that women can grow a human being like in their body, like women's bodies are just like, it, they're amazing. And I just think that's so cool. So this week I gained three pounds, like no joke from 12 weeks to the end of week 13. I don't know if I was just eating more or if, you know, the baby is starting to grow a little bit bigger. I think that like, maybe it's around this time or maybe it's like a few weeks ahead, but they're supposed to like start rapidly growing in the second trimester. Like I think it's normal to gain maybe like a pound or a half a pound every week, but I gained three pounds this week and five pounds total for the first trimester. So I think that's uh, pretty normal, it's pretty average. So I also was experiencing headaches, especially in the morning. I don't know if that was just like de dehydration or what, but I would wake up and I would have a headache until maybe like 10.30, 11 o'clock. Uh, I'm still drinking coffee, so not like to excess amounts, but like I'll have a cup of coffee a day and even after I have coffee like nothing really changes I don't feel the headache go away um, until I've kind of like drank a bunch of water and the coffee and like had food so who knows um I also felt like I was shedding a lot like my hair I would just like find it like chase would have pieces of his of my hair like just on his clothes and stuff like that I don't know why that's happening kind of weird um I feel like I am also oh this week I just felt so exhausted by the end of the day and I don't know why because I felt like I had a lot more energy throughout the day So maybe that's what it is I'm feeling really energized and like getting more done being more productive because I feel good But by like 10 p.m. At night. I am just done. I am like my husband and I are watching billions I don't know if you guys have seen that but um, we're really into it. We're on like I think the second or third season right now, but um, we like to watch Billions throughout the week and I we like to watch like two episodes a night, so we've got like a couple hours of TV, but by the end of the second episode, I am usually basically sleeping. Like I can't keep my eyes open, so just really tired. Another thing is that my veins are a lot more visible right now. I'm just noticing that. I think it's because of the increased blood flow, but uh, I've also like noticed these spider veins on my legs, which are not attractive in my opinion at all. I don't know if like I j I'm just noticing them now because I'm seeing, you know, my boobs are really veiny right now and stuff like that, but I noticed that too, like these spider veins. So I don't really like them, but that's what it is. Haven't worn any maternity clothes yet. I'm still kind of wearing my same stuff. Like, and I'm gonna try actually for this pregnancy to not buy a ton of maternity clothes. I'm gonna try to just size up in some of the stuff that um, I would normally buy, like, you know, get a larger size in yoga pants and like just size up on t-shirts and stuff so that I can wear things um, postpartum and so that it's not a total waste. Like some of the maternity stuff is amazing and it's like really comfortable, but I wear it once and then, you know, it's built for a belly and so it kind of looks weird when you're not pregnant. So I'm trying just to like save money and like not go crazy wild on pregnancy clothes, but I'm anticipating needing to buy some stuff in the next few weeks because I just feel myself and the bump getting a little bit bigger. So I'll definitely do a haul whenever I buy some stuff. In terms of cravings, I didn't mention cravings or aversions last in my 12 week up um, the week before this, but uh, in this week I did note that I was craving grapes, 
watermelon, Chick-fil-A, and Diet Coke. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle. Every single Friday, I go to Chick-fil-A and it's like the highlight of my week. I'm obsessed. I, I'm also obsessed with Diet Coke. This happened in my first pregnancy. I don't know if it's like the bubbles, like the sweetness, and the fact that, you know, the only other things that I'm really drinking are coffee and water, you know? It's like something that's kind of different. But um, craving Diet Coke, aversions, shrimp, and just seafood thinking about it i don't want it my husband has been making a lot of seafood actually he um he makes salmon maybe like once a week and he also made some shrimp this week and i just i typically love shrimp and i you know want it when i'm not pregnant and stuff but now i just for whatever reason not into it whatsoever sorry i'm just looking at the time <laughs> um not into it whatsoever, not into any sort of like fish or seafood at all either. But other than that, uh, that was that's really my update for 12 and 13 weeks. I am so excited to be moving on into the second trimester. They say this is like the honeymoon phase because you're feeling great and you're not super huge yet. So you can kind of do all the fun things and um, and I found that last pregnancy, I love my second trimester. And so I'm pumped for this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your comments and sharing your journey with me. Um, I love connecting with all of you guys. You really make my day when I see like a new comment pop up. So I try to answer everything that I can. I hope all of you mamas that are out there um, and are pregnant are having a good, healthy, pregnancy and for everybody that's TTC I'm sending prayers and baby dust your way I hope you get that big fat positive I know it's just like the miracle of life is amazing so thank y'all so much for watching I just said y'all <laughs> I know and it just like that just flew off the tip of my tongue I'm from Jersey I've been living in Texas now for what like almost three years two and a half years and I told myself I was never gonna say y'all until it felt right. There it was. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.